Module 2, Equipment, covers the following topics. Inserting equipment, modifying equipment, and nozzles. Let's take a look at inserting equipment. On our main toolbox, under Settings, is the Equipment tab, showing all the major types of equipment, from vertical vessels, to horizontal vessels, to pumps, to reboilers, and exchangers. Miscellaneous equipment contains smaller equipment like turbines and louvers and fans. Let's take a look at placing some equipment. On the main tab, select the vertical vessel. The dialog shows up showing two symbol types, either a PNID complete with a skirt or a PFD type symbol with just a vertical vessel. Select the icon you'd like and then click OK. You may want to hit F9, which is turning on the snap, which makes it easier to place the equipment. Following the prompts, it says pick any corner of the vertical vessel. So all we do is select two corners, opposite corners, and the vessel is drawn. To draw a horizontal vessel, select the horizontal vessel tool. Again, pick any corner of the vessel, and then the opposite corner. This dictates the size of the vessel. With the horizontal vessel, we can add a boot, for instance, in a, on a separator. We can click Yes. And then we can select where on the vessel the boot will start, and then the size of the boot. When placing reboilers, we'll pick the flange corner of the reboiler, and then the opposite corner. To reverse the reboiler, simply pick from right to left. So we'll pick the right lower corner, and then the upper left. And it reverses the symbol. Similar with exchangers. We can just pick two points to define the exchanger. With pumps, we select the pump. We see six options, horizontal pumps, vertical inline pumps, or PFD schematic symbols of pumps. Select the pump symbol to place. In this case, we'll place a horizontal pump. Click OK. And in this case, it says select the insertion point of the pump. Simply pick a point, and a pump is placed. If it's going in the wrong direction, we can reverse it by clicking on Reverse, and then saying OK. And it flips the pump around. The next topic is modifying the equipment. So rather than erasing the vertical vessel and making one a little bit longer, we can actually use some of the basic AutoCAD tools to allow us to make changes. Some of the basic commands that are used are the move command to move a piece of equipment from one location to another. A nice command to use for modifying is the stretch command. I can stretch the top or the bottom of the vessel. On a horizontal vessel, I can make the vessel a little bit longer on this side, possibly a little bit shorter on this side, just by using the stretch command. We can even stretch the boot up, maybe it was too big. We can stretch the equipment very easily. Another method of changing our symbols, as most of the symbols are placed as groups, is we can actually ungroup. And a simple hotkey is Control and H. Control and H will allow us to turn off the groups, and now we have separate items. So I could actually go in and move the two bottom items up or down. To turn back on the groups, just Control H again, and we'll turn back on the group. It is now considered one group again. Let's take a look at scaling. If our pump was a little bit too small, we could scale it up using the scale command, and maybe make it one and a half times. Scales for some of the equipment and for some of the features can be set in our Standards Manager under the Scale Factors for our PNID settings. It allows us to set some of the default values for the sizes. For our last topic, nozzles, I've opened up a simpler drawing with a vertical vessel, a reboiler, and a couple pumps. Let's zoom up on the vertical vessel and place some typical nozzle placements. Select the Fittings tab, and then the Nozzle tool. You'll notice there are four nozzle types. Depending on the project specs, you will select one of the four. Pick a location. This will be our inlet nozzle, and our nozzle is placed. 
Let's zoom up on the top. Let's put the vapor out. Pick the middle of the vessel. Drag in the direction of the nozzle. Pick a point, and there's our nozzle. And maybe a nozzle off the bottom of the vessel just to represent our liquid out. And there's our nozzles. On our reboiler, let's take a look at placing the nozzles there. We will have nozzles for our steam in and steam out, or heat medium in and out. We'll have our liquid in at the bottom. We'll have our liquid out for the overflow of the weir. And we'll have our vapor out at the top of the vessel. Typical type locations for our nozzles. Very easy to do. Down on our pumps, we have twin pumps. We'll have a nozzle for inlet and for our outlet for both pumps. And quick show of the equipment. Typical type of placement of the nozzles. This concludes Module 2, Equipment.